Day 154, Honors Physics, Homework, Magnetic Fields, Problem Number 24. We have two wires, two parallel wires laying, say, on a table, say, flat on a piece of paper or flat on a screen, with currents in the same direction. Let's say both the currents are towards the top of the page. They could be towards the bottom of the page, but I pick towards the top of the page. The two wires are 10 centimeters apart, and we're looking for the magnetic field midway between the two wires in the plane of this paper or this screen. Now that would de be defined by, say, this line, which is halfway between each wire, five centimeters from each wire. That says five centimeters from each wire. All right, so the magnetic field strength from a wire, a current carrying wire, the, the magnetic field circles around the wire outside the plane of this page, but we can calculate the magnitude of the field by the equation B equals mu zero over two pi times the current in the wire divided by how far away we are from the wire. So we have two magnetic fields circling around each of the wires, one, one magnetic field around each wire, two fields that combine. We're specifically looking for that midway point between the two wires. But let's back up and review a little bit about magnetic fields. They follow the right-hand rule, so for the wire on the left, the 10-amp wire, I'll use blue to represent magnetic field, the field circles the wire, but tangentially to that circular field around the 10-amp wire in the plane of this paper, the magnetic field would be into, tangent to that circle right there, circle around, and come back out of the paper right there, and circle around that wire. But the main thing is to the right of that wire where it's into the paper towards the floor if you're laying your paper on the floor and as you go further out it gets weaker but it's still into the paper tangentially tangent to that circle that circular field same thing is true of the wire on the right the 15 amp wire I'll use a different color let's say black on the right hand side of that wire we have a magnetic field that goes in to the paper I don't really care it circles around it comes back out the other side it comes out of the paper but if I keep going and it weakens the distance, it's coming out of the paper. Now these two fields then will interact. I'm just showing part of the field for each wire. But those fields then will combine in all locations, but specifically along that line in the plane of this paper, the wire on the right will have a magnetic field tangentially towards the ceiling, and the wire on the left has a magnetic field tangentially towards the floor. It will be easy to add up those two vectors because they're diametrically opposed. All we'll need to do is subtract those two vector values if we calculate them, so if I calculate B sub, say 10, the magnetic field for the 10 amp wire, it's 2 times 10 to the negative 7th, that's my B value, or my mu zero over 2 pi, I should say, times the current in that wire, 10 amps, divided by how far I am from that wire, which is 0 0.05 meters. So B 10 from, at that location, from the 10 amp wire comes out to be 4 times 10 to the negative fifth Tesla toward the floor as we have indicated in the diagram of that blue X. And if we plug into the same formula, same equation for the 15 amp wire, all we're doing is changing the 10 amps to a 15 amps. Figure that out. You get a B15 equals some other value. I'll let you figure that out. So the B sub 10 is towards the floor, the B15 is towards the ceiling, all you'll need to do is subtract those two, take the bigger value, which will be the B15, it has a bigger current, will have a larger field towards the ceiling, subtract the smaller value, the 4 times 10 to the negative fifth from that value, will give you the net field, the net direction will be toward the ceiling when you subtract those two. I'll let you figure that part out. Now in part B, let me draw the diagram again we have the same two wires separated by 10 centimeters, but now we're looking for a location, if at all there is any, and there is. The answer is yes, there's a location closer to the 10 amp wire in which these two magnetic fields would cancel out, at least at that particular location. So I'll draw a line here that represents that location closer to the 10 amp wire. I'm going to call that R sub 10. That's, that R sub 10 means the distance from the 10 amp wire. That's this distance right here, and it's less than 5 centimeters. Then we have this distance over here from the 15 amp wire. I'm going to call that R sub 15, 
means the distance from the 15 amp wire, but I know that R sub 10 plus R sub 15 equals 10 centimeters. I can write that down, R sub 10 plus R sub 15 equals 10 centimeters, which is 0 0.10 meters. Or in other words, I could solve for one or the other. I know that R sub 10 will be equal to 0 0.10 minus R sub 15. That'll come handy in handy here in a few minutes. But bottom line is we have the same directional fields as we did in part A. I'll use blue. For the 10 amp wire, the magnetic field to the right of that wire is toward the floor, represented by the X. And then for the 15 amp wire, the magnetic field will be towards the ceiling, represented with the dot, but those will overlap. All right? Those will overlap and cancel out. So we need B sub 10, the magnetic field of the 10 amp wire, to be equal to B sub 15, the magnetic field towards the ceiling of the 15 amp wire. Well, if we plug in symbolically, that means mu sub 0 over 2 pi times I sub 10, current in 10 amp wire, over R sub 10, distance from the 10 amp wire, has to equal mu 0 over 2 pi times I sub 15, current in the 15 amp wire, divided by R sub 15, distance from the 15 amp wire. I haven't plugged anything in yet because we can take some shortcuts. Mathematically here, this and this will cancel. And all we have is I sub 10 over R sub 10. And we know I sub 10 is 10 amps. So we have 10 amps over R sub 10. Now R sub 10, if you look in the black above here, is 0 0.10 meters minus R sub 15 equals I sub 15, which is 15 amps, divided by the distance from the 15 amp wire, which is just R sub 15. So right now we have a proportion that you can just cross multiply and solve for R sub 15. And I'll let you do that part because that'll get you to the answer. That'll figure out how far you are from the 15 amp wire and therefore subtract from 10 centimeters to get the distance from the 10 amp wire. That's the location where the magnetic fields would cancel. You'd get a net zero magnetic field.